I was into pretty much growing up. We were into punk rock music, BMX, skateboarding, and uh, stealing motorcycles. If his shoes are too clean, if his fingernails are clean, I'm probably not going to want to build him a bike. <laughs> Originally I was born in Israel, but I came out here when I was eight. So I've been in LA, but like in this neighborhood pretty much all my life. This is where I live now and so I belong. Well, before we had a uh, motorcycle license, uh, I think you have to wait till like you're 15 and a half. We're already riding bikes at like 13, 14. Me and all my crew, that guys that I grew up with, we always loved things with two wheels. So, you know, the BMX quickly turned into having a motor and a BMX bike and that's why we built custom bikes is the, the, the stance and the way you sit on choppers to me is just like having that old like Stingray Schwinn, you know, with the apes and all that. Like anything you see as a kid, you kind of have to go and try to chase that dream when you grow up. Then I discovered like what a chopper is all about, which is more bare bones, just a frame, a motor. The fashion is to like strip your bike down to, to that degree, like having nothing on the bike is better. It's the place you want to ride is here, especially in LA having like the PCH close by it's like I've, I've noticed like having my business here for 10 years that people travel to LA just to rent a bike f from Bartels and ride the coast it's like a, it's like a to must must do thing you know it's like you have to try it once in your life and if you ever have a chance to ride PCH on a motorcycle you'll see it's like heaven and you get hooked on riding right there it got to the point where I was like man I can make decent money doing this because I was building the one bike at a time for a friend and I had maybe three lined up to do already and it's like I gotta go to do my nine to five job. I was in the food business cooking. I worked at a, a catering company. Actually my dad, my dad's a caterer and he had restaurants all my life. I worked in the kitchen with my dad. But then I realized you know what I could like shut this whole side of my life away and then just like I have five people that want bikes right now. If I just do these bikes I could make a decent living. And it was kind of risky, like, okay, what's going to happen after these five bikes, you know? But I took the risk, quit my job that I was doing. It was actually a few different things I was doing for money at the time, but I gave it all up, and, and like, overnight, and then moved to this place. These bikes, um, they, they're old, they leak, they smell like an old bike, and, like, you have to have the, the right heart to, to have them, it seems like. Square, round, like rectangular shape. Like one thing you can't buy is oval metal. Like you just can't buy. It. So I made my own oval um, tubes. So that was a, a huge thing to like try to do because I've made a lot of mistakes and had to throw away a lot of metal to get the shape. And then everything else on this bike, I put a, a, a sharp edge on. So if you can see like this little tail piece right here, it's got it's all stainless and it's got a, a nice little uh, I don't know like a spear but it travels through the whole bike, so it comes down on the seat and then continues on the gas tank and then up on the fairing right here. It's got design and engineering behind it because it has to work too, it can't just look cool. It has to, you should be able to ride this thing at 100 and not have to worry about the frame snapping into. This bike looks like it could be a restoration of an old vintage bike or some of the parts look like they might, <clears throat> might have gotten taken off of original bikes. Uh, a good example is this gas cap. You've seen these on boats before. I made this cap and I think we spent a good week on this cap to get it to work because it's so, it's so mechanical but it also has to seal so there's no leaks. All these little pieces are all handmade. Each, each one of these little pieces, you know, there's probably about 20 pieces here to make this gas cap. It's just very time consuming and to some people it's pointless but to me it's everything. But just, just to show you there's no Bondo. There's no bullshit hiding underneath it. This is all what you see. It's all hand formed and it's for, it's for the right people that know, that understand. It's not for everybody. But it, it rides like a dream bike.
some other things you can do, like, like if you're a painter or a design, uh, or even a chef, you make a dish, it's like ready within an hour, and then you get your like gratification. Yeah, that four month wait to finish a bike is like the exciting part in the life. And that's only because you already know where it's going and what direction we're going with the bike. And, uh, and then you smoke a cigarette and stand back and look at it, and it's like there's nothing like it in the world.